This is David Gilmore, known as LDS Prepper, and today we're not going to talk about the difference between putting seeds directly in the soil for germination and putting them on a heat mat and under grow lights. We're going to show you what happened. So I've had my thermostat here set to 88, and it varies. I took the plastic off, so it's going to get colder. It's never been this cold. It's usually somewhere between 80 and, and 78. But anyway, uh, what germinated? We have cold, hardy plants. And we've got uh, summer plants. We've got sunflowers here. They all germinated. We've got uh, chard that has germinated here. We've got uh, lettuce that's germinated. Kale that's germinated. More chard. These tomatoes came late in the, in the mail, so they haven't germinated yet. Nothing on the cucumbers. Bush baby watermelons. The heart of gold watermelons. The ambrosia cantaloupe has germinated. We got the Hell's Hearts germinated, the Weeks cantaloupe is germinated, and nothing yet on the uh, sun sugar tomatoes. Amazing cauliflower, not yet. Broccoli, not yet. Zucchini looks good. The corn is amazing. I mean, it's like really, really germinated. And then over here, let me take the plastic off. We have the sugar snap peas and the Cosmo bush beans, and we've got great germination here. On the peas, the beans are just starting to come up. So we've got a wide variety of plants all germinated at 80 degrees on the heat mat. I have not watered these since I put them in, but now that I have the plastic off, I'll have to water. This was, com this was completely fogged up with droplets on the inside during the germination period. You can see how yellow everything is because I haven't turned the light on until just now. So I'm going to do something that may surprise you, but I, once I get more seeds germinated, I'm going to turn off the heat mat because heat promotes growth, and I don't want these to grow really, really fast. I want, I want them to grow thick and strong. So I'll leave the light on. Right now I have the light on the lowest setting. Let me show you what that looks like. Here's low, next high, next high, next high. I think that's the highest. Yep. So that's the highest setting. If, if I want to start a garden quickly and easily with the highest germination rate and the quickest time to do that, I would use a heat mat and a light. Now, I have a video on this particular light. This is my favorite light. This is the Volt Grow VL1. Uh, I won't go into a lot of details, but it's just a fabulous light. And then I just have uh, a stand here, a regular grow light jump start stand. I can raise and lower the lights here with this adjustable mechanism here, the ratcheting system. And I can also adjust the light angle so I can get a broader and closer uh, lights, to kind of spread the lights out by turning it sideways there. But what I've decided to do is I'm just going to leave the lights on high and I'm going to leave them up high. You can see I'm getting a really good broad uh, cover of the plants. And I think it's a really good even distribution of light. I'm going to turn the lights on when I get up in the morning and turn them off when I go to bed. I'll have a link below for this heat mat with the controller, the heat mat itself, the stand, and also the Volt Grow VL1 grow lights if you want to get more information and possibly get the same setup that I have here. What's been your experience using heat mats? and putting plastic over it. Has it worked for you? Has it not worked? Have you had better success uh, sewing right into, this, into the garden? Take a look at the other videos I have linked down below here. This was kind of a unique mix of soil that I have here. I'll link to that video where I mixed the soil so you can see what I did. Something you may, may or may not need to try or want to try. But one thing I certainly did is I added the pre-plant mix into that soil. That's really, really, really critical to get good root growth. I'll link down below on how to mix up the pre-plant nutrient mix so that you can get a great root set. Even though I've used the same method in the greenhouse, I've never gotten these kind of results. And I think the big difference in seed germination in a house is I have a much more consistent temperature, ambient temperature, so the seeds germinate it much faster. It's the difference between constant temperature in the house versus fluctuating temperature 
in late winter, early spring in a greenhouse. Definitely better results in a more controlled environment with a consistent temperature in the house. Well, I couldn't be happier with the results. These are fantastic results and they can be easily duplicated by just simply following the same steps I outlined in the previous videos on how I prepared the soil, how I planted the seeds, and I'll have links to those videos below this video in the comments and the description section. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if ye are prepared with proper seedling production, ye shall not fear what is coming.